So I wanted to make this video about the Dominican Republic. So once upon a time when I started going, um, you know, building my network marketing business, building residual income, you know, creating residual habits, you know, training my subconscious mind, going out there, going from college dropout, staying at my parents' house to being able to travel the world, run events and motivate lots of people. Um, what I did at that point in time was I got to a point where I hit chairman 10, where I had six figures, um, you know, in network marketing and I'm master Academy. And so I got invited to, uh, an Island Dominican Republic where it was like, Hey, this is all the six figure and seven figure and eight figure earners are going to be here. Right. And there I was, you know, from the small town, from the farms I'm there and I'm just like, dude, I'm an imposter. Like, dude, how am I here? Because where I grew up, you know, I was doing pizza delivery just, you know, not even a year ago. I was doing pizza deliveries not even a year ago. Next thing you know, I'm in front of six figure, seven figure, eight figure earners. And I'm just this guy that I'm as awkward as freaking could be. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just, I literally didn't even know what to do or what to say. Like, I was just so awkward and nervous and shy the whole time. And um, I remember that when I got home, when I got home and I moved into a new place in Colorado, right after that event i went through a little bit of a depression for like two months because i had i had built my team from 200 people to about 600 people in about literally a month or two months it happened so fast and then the 600 dropped all the way down to 300 now shout out to my team because it wouldn't be done without them now at the end of the day i dropped back down 50 percent retracement in my business and then i realized that i was like damn that sucks. Like I just went all in. I hit chairman and then I dropped it all the way to, you know, P2000 in literally like a month. And I realized that time that I was focusing too much on the result. I was focusing too much on what the rank set and not really, you know, looking at the actual result or not looking at the actual habits of, its, of itself. And I think this is one thing that, you know, here as a 27 year old compared to when I was 22, 21, as I've learned is that it really is about loving the Loving the invite, loving the presentation. You know, I was really big about, you know, training my team, developing my team, helping my team do the work. But I wasn't, you know, once I got to that rank of Chairman 10, I really started to get into management mode. I really started to get into the ego of I already know what to do. I've already did it. I don't have to do it anymore. Now you guys go do it. Right. And that's kind of was my mindset. I've already done it. So I don't need to do it again. Now you guys go do it. I already hit chairman. Now you guys come hit chairman. Because if you're a chairman, you have 500 on your team. Now all of them hit chairman. You're chairman 750. If you go chairman, there's 500 on your team. If everyone on your team goes chairman, you're chairman 750. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm already chairman, so I already hit chairman. Now you guys go do it, <laughs> right? But now I realize that's actually not how it works. Because now I realize it's, it's about falling in love with the process. And the process is you literally just doing it right every single day. Guys, like I'm talking about like just going out there and realizing that you never, you never get there. You never get to the goal. You never get to the result because the goal itself is to be in habitual alignment with your goals, habitual alignment, with your goals. Shout out to Alex Hermosi, one of the greatest, um, really to, that I've listened to. It's like, I agree with almost everything he says or almost everything he says. And because he's very similar to, I would say how I look at things myself. And whenever he says something, I'm like, damn, I agree. I resonate. That makes sense. Like I, I, it's like he put it into words better than I even knew how to think about it, right? And I was like, okay, because he always talks about habits. He always talks about it's about the labor, not the fruit. He always talks about it's about loving the work. It's not about getting the result, because you know you can get to a point in your life where think, hi there, how's it going? Um, you can, uh, where you can get to a point. You can get to a point where you think, you know, you have it, right? So oh, you hit the six figure, you hit the six figure lunch, six figure dinner, seven figure, you know, awesome. But the point is, you know, it's not time to slow down. It's time to keep going. So that's what I learned about. What I learned from this lesson of, of the Dominican Republic is it's not about doing it as fast as possible. It's about knowing what pace you're going to go at, what pace you can stay at. Not trying to do more in three months to get it done because you're never going to get it done. So the point is to just, what does your life look like? What is, what is your daily life look like? And what is it like? That's it. Like that's life. Like literally there's nothing else. Like this is life. Like what is, you know, oh, you want to train the team. 
you know, I love training and streaming. That's my favorite part. My favorite part is doing the teaching, right? You know, that's probably one of my favorite parts. But I learned that I got to learn how to love prospecting. I got to learn how to love inviting people to the presentation. Because if I can learn how to prospect and invite to the presentation, then I'm always going to have people to present to. And I'm always going to have new people on my team to train. So it's like we all love to be the trainer. We all love to be the teacher. But if you want to get that, you got to focus on prospecting and inviting. So you oh, and you got to focus on doing a presentation. That way you always have people to train. So I think to myself, okay, most people just do whatever it takes. They're, they're kind of like this, you know, grind, hustle mode of like, you know, just do whatever it takes. I'm going to take a presentation here. I'm going to take a presentation there. And it's like, dude, I get it. But I learned, like, if you do it the fast way, you didn't do it the right way. So learn how to just do it the right way. What's your system? Uh, literally, what's your system? Um, right? But this is just what I learned from my experience. Obviously, like, when you're when you're coming up, dude, obviously, bro, do whatever it takes. Like, obviously, bro, do. sometimes you're going to have to just break rules and just, I'm getting it done. Like, right? But as you mature and grow, you're going to realize that it's all about just having systems. It's all about having habits. It's all about, you know, being a leader of action, being a leader of execution, not being a student. Like, what is the point of being a student other than the fact of how you're applying that in your daily life? Right. And so this is what Holden Bugs talks about. Holden Bugs, eight figure earner that we're marketing is he says, I don't learn anything unless I am applying it in the next 24 hours. Right. So everything you learn at night in that training is something that you're applying tomorrow. So if you if there's a training tonight, okay, we're going to go out there and we're all going to apply it tomorrow during the day where the day of discipline is done. The family fire, where's the feeling, is only after the day of discipline is done. So what are we learning? We're learning how to execute our daily life, right? That's the whole point. That's what I learned, guys, because I hit that six-figure rank. I hit that chairman rank, and, you know, at some point in time, I, I was just getting really obsessed with training, and I was taking extra trainings. I was training other people's teams. I was just becoming the professional trainer. And at some point in time, I stopped prospecting as much as I should have. I stopped presenting as much as I should have. And all my team was doing the work, right? And so I realized from that experience that my life is to live, be lived by doing it all, doing all of it, be the prospector, be the presenter and the trainer, do it all, right? Do it all every single day. Really just do it every single day. And, um, you know, realizing that, that's what it's about, guys, just doing it. And if you're not doing it every day, you know, you're taking a day off, you're taking a vacation. Maybe you take that Sabbath day, you know, where you take that Sunday with the family and you enjoy. You know, it just depends on who you want to be, guys. I don't really resonate with that, to be honest. I've had other people try to talk me into that stuff, but I just really don't resonate. I resonate with, you know, Sundays for the family. So how about the family focus on where we're going, the vision of the family, the dreams of where our family is headed. And why don't we actually Monday through Friday execute it? How about that? How about we actually go out there and execute it on Monday, you know, Monday through Friday? And you know, what what are we hanging out for? What are we chilling for? And I don't understand. What what are we hanging out for? We're hanging out to chill, to be to, to be friends, to hang out, to chill. I don't get it. I really don't get it, guys. I really don't get it. Why people do that? And I don't understand. Like, why don't you just focus on building your life, the life of your dreams? Why don't you have the life of your dreams? Why? What work do you have to do, guys? And look, this is why I need to be an iMaster Academy because. You need to, everyone that you know needs to be in our Master Academy because it's taught, taught you, teaches you how to live your best life. It teaches you how to make money online. It teaches you how to be a leader. It teaches you how to empower each other. Everyone has the same potential. They just need to be in the right environment. That's why you need to be in our Master Academy. That's why you need to build a business and why you need to build and put people on your team. And why you also need to learn how to trade, guys. Trading is a two-hour segment. Two hours a day, guys, trading. Some of you are just, you know, some of you are going to do whatever you want to do. But I always recommend two hours a day, two hours a day, consistently show up, right? Two hours a day, consistently show up, guys. Do the same things consistently. You know, Kevin Trudeau talks about in your, not only your wish your command, but in the perpetual money-making machine, guys, the network marketing training that put him to have a business of 180,000 customers in 18 months. Kevin Trudeau, guys, talking about who do you listen to? Okay, Kevin Trudeau, build team 200,000 people in less than two years, Okay, and what did he say in the, in the professional money making machine? He said, you got to do the right things long enough consistently and then you have the results. Okay, so then you got to ask, <clears throat> what are the right things? What's long enough and what's consistently? And then you got to think, okay, 
it's, it's just doing the daily discipline, guys. Doing the daily discipline. Stay in your schedule, guys. Get in the Master Academy. I got to go. Peace.